Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna show you my top 3 YouTube applications on Windows 10 Mobile. These applications, two of them, they work also on Windows Phone 8.1 but I'm gonna show you today on Windows 10 as it's the latest version of Windows and it's the one I'm using on my Lumi 640XL. There is some people that say that oh there is no YouTube application on Windows. Uh, that's a pain and blah blah blah. Uh, that's quite true. There is not official application for YouTube from Google or from YouTube uh, because it's Google and um, yeah, they will not make one. But there is so many third party applications that they are even better than the official one. And here, this one, uh, there is an option that you can uh, choose to show what's the memory usage or what's the RAM that it's being used and what's the free one. And the second option that I love about this uh, TubeCast is the ability to play videos in background. So that option you can't have on official uh, YouTube application on Android or iOS so you kind of have to use third party applications if you want for example to listen music in the background or watch a music video but you want to place it in the background and listen only to the music with the officials you can do that with this one you can do that and with the next one you can as well do that this TubeCast I, it's my favorite one as it's free uh, and doesn't really have like uh, ads and uh, th those annoying ads uh, but sometimes uh, it takes some time to load to load the videos. Sometimes it feels like it doesn't uh, doesn't respond to the touch, or sometimes uh, when I click on the first video, it goes, for example, to the last video of the page, which that that's quite quite annoying. Other than that, this is my favorite uh, YouTube application. It works really well, and to close a video, you just press on it. You don't scroll left or right. You press on the video, and it will close it. And, and yeah, this is my favorite top one YouTube application. Let's go to the second one. Okay, so my top two application for YouTube is MyTube, and this one is on my is on my top two because it still has the old design of Windows Phone 8.1, but there is a new version coming out soon in the next few weeks or months. And this MyTube is also not free, so you kind of have to pay for it. I got it once in a promotion, so I got it for free. You can you can choose between uh, dark and light theme. Player has also a background play, which is sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work and has also ability to play a 60 fps video but it's a beta so the, as you can see the application it stays quite behind a bit but it has some really nice features the, the, the first feature is playing the videos in the background uh, but there is some other there is another nice feature that i like about this player and it's the only player that it has and if you want to skip the video or to move forward you just slide with the finger as i show and it's so nice and it's so easy to, to skip the video and you can also change uh, the quality of the video just by pressing uh, on the video and opens this menu and you can choose be between the quality available. Uh, there is no 1080p available on this video um, but I'm pretty sure the video has 1080p but it doesn't show 1080p for my device because my display it doesn't uh, have 1080p so it doesn't show for me and here the ability to listen only to the audio without uh, video so that's also really nice because uh, if there is video in the background uh, i mean video and music in the background it will eat more battery but by this way you can choose to hear only the audio so let's go to the third one Okay, so my third favorite YouTube application is Awesome Tube, and this Awesome Tube it has a new version. The old version was uh, not so so beautiful. This one it's of course made for Windows 10, uh, but it's a bit slowish because how it's a new version, it's a bit slowish. And uh, what I like about this uh, application is that it has a blur. When I open this menu, when I open the menu. It has like a blur, you know, like on Windows, like on Windows 7 there was a blur. Uh, Microsoft kind of took out this blur. On Light Team you can see it better, you see that blur. Uh, and that's quite good. I mean, if a developer can make this blur on an application and Microsoft can't make this blur on the store or even on the menus or on the action center, Microsoft can do this blur. I mean, I don't really know what Microsoft is doing, but because this blur is, it looks very nice. Uh, but this blur also kind of 
takes a bit of performance because the application it's kinda slow because of this blur, the videos are kinda a bit laggy sometimes until you go to full screen because on full screen the application the video plays normally but now it's not on full screen as you can see there is still like the blurriness on the background and the video it's like a bit a bit laggy uh, you can choose between the comments and between all the settings here and you still see the blurriness on the background which i really like that but the application as you can see it's a bit laggy until you go on full screen and, and in full screen it works normally uh, but all this lagginess it's because of the blur so in my opinion i guess that's why microsoft kind of doesn't bring the blur to windows 10 mobile because it will impact so much on the devices but there is an option to to close this blur so i mean i just wish microsoft could do the same to add blurriness or even transparent settings uh, so i mean if we want to use it, let, let it just be there as an option because we as users, we like more and more options. And this one, as you can see, to close the video, it's just slide left, just like the official uh, YouTube application. Uh, but like, like I was mentioning, give us options. Uh, and this application, how it's free, it has like these ads sometimes. Yeah, this is the only problem. So that's why it's kind of on the third place for me because it has this, those ads and how it's a new version, it's a bit laggy, but overall, I really like this uh, application. It's so customizable and so good. Uh, but like I was mentioning, uh, we as users, we want more and more options. If we're gonna use all, we will not use all of them, but give us options. As you can see, you can even customize where the hamburger menu is at the top or at the bottom. So that's this application. It's really customizable, and I really like applications uh, that that they are very customizable. So yeah, as you can see here, you can disable the blur, so the application works a bit better. But yeah, the on the translators, <laughs> the translators are quite weird but anyway thank you guys for watching and let me know if you have any other um, applications for youtube for example and yeah see you in the next one